The Russian paratroop regiment's motto is nobody but us. Earning that blue beret will push you harder than you've ever been pushed in your life. They say, once a para, always a para. And many of the conscripts like a permanent reminder. That's all. You beauty, you're one of us now. Dress right. Eyes forward. Dress right. Attention. Hand-to-hand -hand combat maneuvers. On my count, by division. One. Two. Three. Four. My new regiment in Novorossiysk is heavily focused on combat training, and every day we're out on the square learning our unarmed fighting drills. At the moment, we work individually, but it won't be too long before we're facing off against each other. It's the elite. And a real man has to be ahead of everyone, to be the best. I think that the paratroopers are the greatest. Just like in Tula, everyone is assigned various responsibilities each day. I'm back on guard duty, although this time I'm at the front of the base, rather than in the barracks. Duty guard for the control point. Reason for your visit. Returning to base. Your documents. Security is paramount. Every vehicle that drives up has to be thoroughly checked. Even our own trucks. Nobody takes any chances here. It's only after we've looked into every nook and cranny that they're allowed on the base. I'm not sure whether it's the benefit of experience, but everyone seems more confident here. And it's a good thing, because our live fire exercises are about to be ramped up. It's a tough job for the man in charge. Sometimes I get tired of ordering people. It happens from time to time that guys don't obey me. But I was given the task of commanding the company and I have to do it. So in any case, I'll remember this time with a smile. It was tough sometimes, but everything will be fine. I'm sure. We'll do our military duty. Today, the war games really got started. We were assaulting a hill with full armor support. The machine gunner goes first. Second is... Private Brown. Private Brown. After him, the squad leader. You're next. And you bring up the rear beside the vehicle. Everyone, mind your distance. Look around to check for your comrades. And remember you're using live ammunition. So your life depends on following the safety procedures. And you have to come back safe and sound. Any questions? No, sir! I was crouched in the bottom of a boiling hot tank. There's barely room to breathe, let alone move. Go, go! And then just like that, you're out and running. Get into position! Number one, go! Run, run! Our six-man squad spread out and headed to our places. Attack! Move up! Number one, go! We were moving at a rate of knots. Run, crouch, and fire. But you've got to make sure the right person is in your sights. Stop! Don't shoot! Move there, Jubadilov. He's aiming right in front of you. And you've got too close to each other. Don't shoot when you're behind someone. Number one, go! Heading downhill, it's a nightmare just staying on your feet. Although when the tank and the grenade launcher open up alongside you, it does tend to push you forward. By the time we hit the bottom, my legs were in agony. As I tumbled into my foxhole, I don't think I could have taken another step. We get around an hour and a half each day to ourselves, and at least there's a TV room where we can chill out. 
Most of the time I just use it to recover, or to write to you, of course. But there's always someone new to chat with. What was the hardest moment for you here? Here in the army? Well, probably all the physical training. Apart from that, some drills, like marching drills. Jumping isn't easy either. And after the army, have you decided what you want to do yet? No, I'm studying at university and want to find a good job and be the best in my field of logistics. If possible, I'd like to stay in the army as a contractor because they pay well now and allow you to do external studies. Life in the dormitory is like being in a five-star hotel. You sleep so much better when you only have to deal with two other people snoring. Hey, how are you, James? I'm good. How are you? Good enough. Nothing special. And I'm going to need all the energy I can get. We've been building up to our first day of full sparring, and most of the time we're working on shadow boxing and evasive maneuvers. Come on, come on. You're slacking. Sharper hits. You hit with a straight arm, and you block. Understand? Attention, everyone. Get ready. So, practice speed. Continue with your right arm. Once we've warmed up, it's time to pick a partner and start scrapping. Fight. Because eventually, you're going to have to pull on the gloves and the headgear and try and knock the hell out of each other. Come on, come on. Use your legs. Come on, come on. Too slow. Defend, defend, block. Come on, come on, Bogdanov. Come on, come on. Stop. Dismissed. I last did karate about 20 years ago. I'm going to have to remember it fast. In the meantime, I was taking on one of the mountain regiment's toughest challenges, the DCP assault course. The whole thing is a hellish endurance test. Climbing, jumping, abseiling, and shooting with no chance of a break. Move, move! Crouch down, you two! Cover them! The idea is to train you to overcome extreme conditions. Whether you're walking along narrow ledges... James, move, move! Raise your gun! Faster! Or leaping down canyons. You watch your friends back and clear out any oncoming enemies. This paratrooper's obstacle course must be crossed by a division as a whole. It means that the success of fulfilling tasks doesn't depend on a single soldier, but on cooperation between soldiers of this division. Cover each other! Until the end! Each soldier polishes the skills he had acquired before coming here from their own units. So we improve what they had already learned before. As you can see, soldiers manage this obstacle course well. The divisions work in coordination. It's okay, James. It's war. Move, move. It's things like this that make you realize just how fit a paratrooper needs to be. I got to the climbing wall, and I had nothing left to give. Look, you're grabbing it wrong. Take it like that. There's a hold, you see? Use your fingers like that. Push closer to the rock. Feel it. Lie on it. Put your right leg there. Stand up and straighten it. Come on, come on! Try harder! To the end! The blue hold. Come on! It's too hot. 
I can't have no more strength. That's it. So. Our obstacle course ends here with this climbing wall. If you fail to do your task here, you let the whole group down. His life and his life depend on you. You must cooperate. If one of you fails, it means all of you fail. Right, use your head. You have to think. Now's the time when you think. Higher, higher. Go. There you are. Keep going. Excellent. That's it. Great. Grab the loop. Come on. But it's one for all and all for one here. There's always someone there to help you get through. Come on, there's not much left. Come on, come on, do it yourself. Come on, well done. Stand up. Well done. It's done. Come on. You've got a satisfactory result. I'm pleased with you. The task is complete. You've done well. I've got nothing to say. Excellent. Give me five. Comradeship is vital in the army. We try to build a good team spirit to make a friendly atmosphere. I help you today, tomorrow you help me. You couldn't get through the fence today and you got stuck. I helped. Tomorrow I could fail too and, God forbid, injured myself. And you'll help me. That's what's important in the army, friendship and a close-knit team. In situations like this, real team spirit reveals itself. You can see straight away who's your friend, who's not. All the training in the world can't really prepare you for an actual fight, though. I'm just hoping it's true that the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Don't touch the headgear, OK? No grabbing it. No hits to the groin. Kick or low kicks at best, nothing more. If anything happens, break off immediately. Ready? Begin. James! You okay? <laughs> James, are you alright? <laughs> Raise your hands. Ready? Ready? Not really, no. <laughs> Come on, James. Faster. Right, stop. A soldier who has never fought, never met his enemy face to face, or never felt the strength of his enemy, is not ready psychologically or physically to fight. That is why the most important and the only possible way to overcome those fears is to practice and to spar. One thing you do learn in the paratroopers, though, is persistence. If you get knocked down, you've got to get back up again. Arms higher, arms higher! Come on, go for the body. Stop, stop. Well done. Oh, that was a good lesson. You're okay. Oh, I feel a bit sick, of course. Yeah, that's the f***ing army. Of course, hand-to-hand -hand combat is a last resort. Ideally, our heavy artillery should make sure the enemy never gets that close. 
In our tank drills, we're out patrolling the hills almost every day. Riding on top is a double-edged sword. You're spared the intense heat from inside, but you have to hang on for dear life and hope you manage to inhale some air among the clouds of dust. The tanks are notoriously temperamental, and maintaining them is a full-time job. At first, we all have girlfriends. We call them and feel happy. Then in three or four, sometimes even five months, it's like, what's wrong? I've broken up with my girlfriend. Why? She cheated on me. How do you know? My friends told me. It happened to me too. Everything seemed to be fine. Then I called and her cell phone was off. Yeah, anyway, she's not the only one. Apparently, the army gives you women trouble. Who'd have thought it? Don't forget, it's not too long till I'm coming home. We've been moved into a field camp, so sadly my days of comfortable living are over. There are about 30 of us sharing a tent, and most of our chores involve digging out the ground for new ones to be put up. I'm spending a lot of time with my tank platoon. Apparently, they've got something special in store for me. I'm not sure whether to be worried or not. James, now we're going to drive a tank over you. This will test your courage and resolve. Brace yourself. Ready? Ready. Get into position here. Lie down. Head forward and tuck your gun under. Head in the right direction of the tank. Keep your elbows close. The closer you keep them, the lower you'll be. Ready? Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Stop! Congratulations! Your training has been a success. You've done it! The more you train your soldiers, the more you learn about them. You see what they can do and how they can do it. You become confident in them and in yourself as well. If anything were to happen, you're sure they'll do everything well. This unit is capable of performing any task because of this training. Listen up. The enemy's been identified. Our group is going to lie in ambush with the objective of capturing one of the captains, officers, or sergeants. Captain of the group, lay an ambush on this side. Is the task clear? Yes, sir. Begin. Understood. Move up, team. Gunner, get into position. Private Brown, smoke will signal the attack. You take the left flank, I'll take the right. I just got used to having the tanks on my side. Now we have to learn how to ambush one. What's your route? I'll never tell. What's the route? You sure? Out. We're taking the route across the pass. 15 light armored vehicles. They haven't taught us interrogation techniques yet. I think that must be an advanced course. One of the regular favourites here is buckwheat, with a chunk of canned beef. But it's calories, and we all empty our mess tins. Despite the fact that we're living in a muddy field, 
We still have to keep ourselves clean and tidy, and there are a few tricks I've been able to pick up. How do you feel altogether? I mean, at the beginning. Initially, we didn't understand each other at all, of course, because we were all from different cultures with different approaches to life. At first there were conflicts, but in two or three weeks we got used to each other and became friends. Everything's been fine since. You learn to get on with people. It's essential here. Your tunic is almost ready. We only have to dry it. When it's dry, it'll look fine. Just stamp it a bit more here so that it won't rip. Lights out! Lights out! Lights out! Tomorrow I get a chance of redemption. All the training, all the laughs, all the pain. I'm about to find out if it's been worth it. One thing's for sure, it's going to be terrifying. A couple of weeks ago, if you'd told me I'd be sitting on the tarmac, waiting to jump out of an aeroplane, I'd have laughed at you. My last training session on the practice tower was a disaster. I couldn't go through with it. That was only 40 meters. I'm about to try 800. Jumping from an Aleutian is worse than from an Antonov. With the Antonov, it's like jumping off a stool. You just drop, nothing to be afraid of. But here, a strong gust catches you, and it's just amazing. Do you think you're ready, yeah? Yes, I am. Well, let's see. I hope so. We're waiting for what seems like hours. Eventually, we get the all clear. Good weather's due on the horizon. Perfect jumping conditions. There's no backing out this time. I'm going to have people in front of me and behind. If I don't go, no one else can. It's not an option. The equipment's checked one last time, and we're ready to fly. Everyone's handling it in a different way. There are guys here who've jumped three or four times, and there's me, who's never done it before. I'm trying to think about anything rather than what's about to happen as the plane takes off. I hope I'm in for a soft landing. First the tank goes out the back, and then it's our turn. This is what makes the VDV unique. The guys say it's better when you can't see the ground. I hope they're right. Your chute's actually open must be the greatest feeling in the world. Sheer blissful relief. Turn with the wind direction. It's easy to lose your concentration, but you still have to think about landing. The wrong position could mean a broken leg or worse. Disperse! Take the harness off. <laughs> I'd actually made it. For that brief moment, I felt like a paratrooper. <sighs> well, Private Brown, now you're more than just a parachute jumper. You're a real paratrooper. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Now, into position for the initiation. Into position for the initiation. Go on, let's do it. One, two, three. 501, 502, 503, pull. 504, 505. 
Good can it be? <laughs> Nobody but us. That's our motto. It's our way of life. No task is impossible. We can make it all happen. It doesn't matter what kind of situation it is. We have to be there first and fulfill the task to make our government proud of us. And this is our motto for life. It's how we live. Good luck. Goodbye, my friend. I'll see you, buddy. Right often. Don't forget us. Take care. Rustam, don't break my hand. <laughs> I can see why everyone says they're different men after the army. It's some sacrifice these young soldiers have to make. For me, it was exhilarating, agonizing, heartbreaking and amazing. But I won't lie, I'm relieved. I'm coming home.